Welcome and hello. Today is July 3rd, 2024. Remember, if you stick around or are a returning viewer, remember to like and subscribe to the video. If you don't, all coffee will taste like ash. If you think that already, I don't want you subscribing. Now on with the news. The twirling monstrosity that was Hurricane Barrel gained some steam over the weekend to become a Category 5 hurricane, the earliest time in the year that one of these has been spotted. As it travels, it loses energy like all hurricanes and has weakened once more to a Category 3 storm as it hit Jamaica. The reason this hurricane is being talked about is that it grew fast and beat out earlier records of any hurricane development this early in the year, leading scientists, yeah, those people, to bring up once more how hot ocean temperatures are the fault. The way this works is energy from the sun penetrates into the Earth's oceans, it which in turn increases air currents uh, via rising air and effective lowering the air pressure because that water turns into vapor. When looking over the past decades, you can see that as ocean surface temperatures increase, hurricane intensity rises similarly. So similarly as to be hard to divorce from one another. What can we do about it? Maybe we take a page from Futurama. We go find some ice and drop it in the ocean. Problem solved. Speaking of things that Americans love to hear more than anti-science climate talk, the United States gets one year older, and if you only go by the measurement of the Declaration of Independence some 248 years ago, that's 1776. We are the largest economy on Earth, the most successful capitalism-based democracy, and that's worth celebrating. Yes, we have problems, we are facing an election like none other that I've ever seen in my lifetime, and we have a Supreme Court who is turning back the dial from things that, we've that have actually made us great. But I have still some manner of confidence, perhaps it's misplaced, perhaps it's naivete, that our country will still be here in another 248 years. We might just be underwater. And if you're having a hard time remembering all those 800 people we lifted off to space or the countless scientific achievements, there's good news. The FDA's decision to say A-OK -okay to a new drug which helps patients with mild Alzheimer's. Avoid the cognitive decline that can be so hard for family members may just be right for you. I'm not a doctor. Do not take my advice. Maybe on anything. Probably. Scientists are wanting to make clear that Though this drug helps with slowing the decline of some patients who fit the criteria above, it does not reverse the damage Alzheimer's causes. But more time with knowing your loved ones is more time. Plain and simple. Now on to another terrible disease that ravages our country. What mass shootings happened yesterday? None. Not a zip. Think all things holy and unholy. Actually, is there a demon we can sacrifice some people to make this more normal? Seriously, a few lotteries, um, you know, a la Hunger Games style to avoid all the rest of the shootings for their year? It can't be as simple as getting smart, targeted regulations or other legislative acts, can it? Nah, no other country has been able to solve their gun violence issues with such a process. None. Zero. Zip. Nada. And let's end on a controversial topic. There really isn't a mystery to how bees flies. It's like the human eye isn't some bizarre thing that can't be explained through evolution. We more or less know exactly how the eye came about, what were likely predecessors, and of course, how bees fly. These misconceptions are old and stuck because it's fun to think we don't understand some very simple things. Bees fly because unlike birds who flap up and down, or how planes gain, gain lift, bees flap back and forth. This creates little vortices of air that keep them aloft and moving forward. They're like less efficient helicopters. Or actually, maybe they're more efficient because they run on pollen. Seriously, should we give helicopters four wings? Would that allow them to run on pollen? That's a pretty great idea. Someone get on that. 